I'm gonna give y'all. Say, so, yo, what's up, man? Hey, I told y'all we down in Belize, man. I got some of the Belizean soccer players, man, putting it down. What's up, girl? Hey, my name is Jerry, and I'm so happy to meet my boy Vin right now. He got a nice, very good car, and he just purchased a new chain from us. He got his new chain, and um, um, he's supported by a soccer team, so I really appreciate him today, man. We're just getting this stuff sold out so we can purchase a set of uniform for the team. I want to stay buddy, welcome to Belize, and you're going to have a blast, man. Take right. back home to Texas and tell the people how wonderful our country is, my friend. But look here, man. I'm, hey, we live in Belize. We just touched down. I got my boy Jewel with me in the house. What's up, Jewel? What's up, my brother? Hey. From Belize, man. Hey, man. I so appreciate this it, man. This is the home of the black and the free. Come you know on, bro. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? This is the art box. This is the art box. I work from all over Belize, north, east, west, and south. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty nice piece of the show. You know, I want my brother to experience, I want him to experience the whole nine yards Belize have to offer to Pick him up at the airport, TGIA, raining down, we're taking a long ride down. The first stop is here at the Art Council community, and kick it into Belma Pan City, and learn to see his, uh, his, uh, his embassy there, you know, this big monstrosity that they do, the biggest in Central America, or this, this hemisphere period. Do hey, something for the bitch. Hey, hey, y'all come on with me. Come on. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. We live at the art box with this lovely young lady mm -hmm. showing us around. And they got everything. Yeah, got got everything the coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, believe in coffee. Yes. Let's see this one. Coffee This is ball. a gallon jug. I want to see. I got my boy that makes coffee in uh, Placencia too. We're going to check it out. Own coffee, baby. Like Chocolate coffee. Roasted right cocoa beans. All this is Belizean stuff. Okay. Say, so, hey, H-Town, y'all riding with me. You'll see a lot of this in Placencia too. A lot of the guys that carve these live in Placencia and work out of Placencia because it's a tourist area. So they get a lot of a uh, lot more for their work. But you should see from start to finish how they do it with just one piece of log. Wow. To these pieces. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. I mean, original, and, and, authentic and the thing is, the wood, wood work. Our wood and everything they go into our jungles to, to get our wood from there. It's not like they go to the store and buy a piece of wood. They actually this wood is coming straight out the jungle. the jungle. They hike in the jungle, yeah. get the wood, and they make these uh, masterpieces. Unfortunately, your time is too short for you to, to take one. I got friends that do that. Uh, so we just walking through. Get that. It's rough. Just walking through and see work. what they got going. A lot of these stuff was made in the prisons too. Okay, okay. So the prisons, so the prisons make stuff made and they send it out and then they come these these uh, big entities buy them or people that, that, that uh, cater to the tourism bar. So I one time I used to go to the prison and buy artwork from them too when I had my things uh, in Placencia. Okay. So so all, this, all this is locally made. Hand, look at yeah, that. All this is locally made, hand made. Come on, when y'all come to Belize, make sure y'all check out the art box. Look at that, got the cat. Got the drums. Oh yeah. The hammock. And everything in here is supposed to be believed in me. The wood, hardwood floor. 
Forest. Elysian Maid. Smeg, you're in here too. Mm hmm. It's the wood. Okay. What did it say? Think positive, be positive. Look at the people, look at the painting. With the black Jesus. So this town is Spanish and Mennonite? Yeah. Look, y'all, we Every do. time you go, you got your population of blacks. But this town is mostly populated by Mennonites and Spanish. Okay, so this it's is a... Armenian. Okay, Armenian. Mennonites and Spanish. Supermarket providers in this country. Okay. They got their shit on the monopoly. As a, this is a school, y'all. Stand by the school. Just jumped in. You see them fishes swimming? Look at that. Yeah. That's the world famous inland blue hole, y'all. And the cave is right there where you go right up under the cave. Y'all only, look, you only gonna get these kind of shots on Verbal Peak Radio because ain't nobody finna climb out of the way and go through the jungle just to come give you all footage of the blue hole. You did? So, your boy though, I'm doing it for H-Town. I'm doing it for black folk. I'm doing it for my people. I'm doing it for everybody that loves nature. That's why I'm doing it. <clears throat> Jewel out here with me. We hit it to the cave, man. You know, look, bro, pick radio. Who else gonna come? You, you know what I'm saying? Who? This is the most famous, my cave. Okay. This the shit had me spooked one day. I ran up out of this motherfucker. <laughs> I hollered some shit up in there and hollered back at me. Oh, yeah, man. Right. That was about hmm, in the 90s when I used to come in. It wasn't developed to a uh, tourist destination yet. Right, it was just rock. Yeah. And then the further you go right. in this cave, uh -huh. the further you go in, uh -huh. it comes like a funnel. Okay. And you go in there, uh -huh. and at the bottom is a funnel. Okay. Right? And, and it comes to a small hole like this, right? Uh -huh. I can almost hear my echo. Yeah, you can. And you before can. you go, it comes to a small hole. Okay. Like, we made us, and it's about, off the water, it's about this rock right here. Okay. Off the water. This, this right here goes like a funnel. Right. And it gets to about this size right here. Okay. And and when you go through that, then it opens up again. Oh, damn. It's like crazy, man. It's a crazy system. And this is one... I ran the fuck up out of here already. I, hey, that shit spooked yeah. me one time. And you got to... I can see because this is the furthest I want to go. Yeah, hey, see, this was the other... This was the statue <laughs> I told you they closed down. See here? You, oh, you, you got it on your thing. I was going to tell you if you feel oh. the little fish is picking on you. Okay. You know, when me. you go in the States, you go to the... um. Them Korean um, uh -huh. spars and they have the little fish that pick on you and right. take off the dead skin. You have them right here, you have them here, and you have them over at the next waterfall. I like to go. Uh -huh. I yeah, I feel them picking on the back of me right now. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, they they do that shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the light is facing me or you? Uh, uh, okay, this way. Bam, you see me? I don't see nothing. It's black. Okay. That's the red light blinking. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Turn the other way. See the red light just blinking? Oh, okay, you gotta hit the screen. Okay, I gotta hit the screen, just touch Not the screen. Right here. Yeah, yeah, there. Oh, that's the screen. There you go. Okay. No, it ain't anything. Okay. This is one of the outlets for the Great St. Herman Cave. Don't be falling now. Don't be falling. Don't be touching down. I mean, it's all good because the water is beautiful. Uh, this, beautiful. And you can get baptized. You get baptized in this water. This is a real, this is a real pure water. Come on, I feel good. Too. You know what I'm saying? And behind good. him is the cave. You see his pitch bar back, back, back there. That cave is like a funnel. And at the end of the funnel, it's about the size of this rock, the opening. And then when you go through that. And you come into another side, you go through like a little short tunnel, then it opens up wide again underneath. It's crazy. It's crazy. And same thing with the other side where he just filmed the blue hole, uh, the blue part. Uh, it, in there, when you dive down and maybe about uh, 15, 20 feet, you'll find another cave and you go through that and then you come up on the other side. And that shit is wild. That is nice. Do it just like this, watch this. Oh yeah. Yo, what's up, your boy Live, man? I'm at the restaurant, finna give me a bite to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I'm stop. I'm out in. Where I'm at, bro? I'm, I'm, um, where's this? Where am I? This is Finger Foods, man. I'm at Finger Foods. Yeah, I'm Chef G. It's Chef G, man. Yeah. Finger Film, Chef G in the building, yo. The best food in Belize, right here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all kind of believe this way y'all want to come hang out there, and then you might meet this lovely nice young lady. Hey, we got a 
You see, it's a lot of expats. That's Ming's store. Oof. All right, uh, good morning. Right in downtown Placencia. I had a good time last night at Chachi's. Had a great time. This whole uh, time I was there, this is their grave site. Just giving you all an overview. What's going on? This is. Serenade Hotel. My boy down here owns that. Oh. That, 
the other place, the other spot. We getting ready to go to the vegetable stand to get us some fresh fruit. Yeah, bruh. No, I didn't get that, but I got everything else though, girl. Appreciate you. That's bear for another popular spot to party at. And also tipsy tuna.